Hey, Tara from the template team here to show you how to get up and deployed fast with our new Hugo Quick Start template. Let's jump in. You can find the repo with all the information on how to get it going, different ways it deploys, the testing that we have in there, how to remove that testing, all at GitHub at Netlify-Templates. We'll do the use this template button and clone this repo to our own account. And in cloning it, you'll get all of the files here where you can use it, where you can customize it. Then we'll copy that URL to our own personal repo and do git clone in a local directory. Once we have that, we can change into that directory. And then we will go ahead and run the hugo command to build out the site. And then we can do hugo server d to serve it up locally and that is available at localhost 1313. But there's another way to also do it on um, Netlify's CLI. If you have that installed, you just do Netlify dev, like so. And it's basically the same functionality. We'll do Hugo server with a watch, um, but you're able to also check things like uh, Netlify functions and uh, do a little bit more inside of that dev environment. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code and see how this updates. So public is something that is made from this theme layouts and index.html. So when we update this, this is what the Hugo server looks at when it hot reloads. So we go ahead and add some new text and you can see it immediately updates on both of those servers, the one with the Netlify dev or running just the Hugo server. Um, so as we add new information and we hit save on the file, it will automatically update. So now let's take a look at how to deploy that. So if we use Netlify deploy from the Netlify CLI, it will immediately create a new Netlify project um, we have to add a few information and then you see that it is going and deploying the site. So this is just going to do a draft because we didn't add the prod flag, which I'll show you in a second. But you see now it's up, we have a deploy preview. Now, if we want to make sure that we have that in production, we do deploy dash dash prod. And so uh, you see on the last one, it had a bunch of gibberish before the actual website name or link. That is so no one else can find it. So you can just share that with other people. But now we have the real link. Um, now it's down at our, our live site. That's a little easier to find, a bit easier URL, hugo-demo-site.netlify.app. And we can see all our build logs on this dashboard. We found that with nettle open and tl open. So now we can clear that and get it a different way by running nettle sites colon create test template and finding the template in this list. And from here, we can do the same thing where we create a new Netlify project, we name it, and then it will go ahead and create the project, the repo will get cloned, and it will deploy it for us. So here's where the repo lives in our own um, account. And then you can also go back to that dashboard where you can see the deploys are there and all the information for your Netlify dashboard. And then we can also see that it's already live here and has already been deployed to our website. And with that, you have multiple ways to get your app created, deployed, everything you need to get what you need out there with your new Hugo app. Happy coding.